Okay, now what I did is I switched over to the settings app and I went down in notifications and then I went into the mail settings. So basically I'm just right here. And then th what this is, is this you get to choose on whether or not this information shows up inside the notification center. And remember, this is the notification center. Okay, all right. So what we have here is we, we have allow notifications, yes or no. How many uh, notifications do we want? This is a set number. And then what this is, this is per app, you get to choose what kind of settings do you want. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the first one. And you get to choose whether you show a notifications, you get to choose the sound. And all you have to do to choose the sound is just go ahead and click on that right there. And then it goes in. And then you get to choose whether or not it's on, um, the badge app icon is on. That's that little red dot. Then you get to choose whether or not it's on the lock screen. And here you get to choose what it actually looks like. Do you just get none or do you get a banner or do you get an alert? And then here, this is where you get a little preview. This basically lets you read like a line or two about the actual email. And that you have to do that for every one of these accounts. All right. Now, right here is VIPs. This is, um, we'll establish VIPs in a second, but what this is, is this is where you get to choose um, what happens for important emails this this makes it a little bit different okay it's the same settings as as these right here it's just that it's a a different way of looking at it because it's particular emails that you may think are important now back over here in the mail app you see where it says vips if you go ahead and press that little i button right there this allows you to establish a vip so what you do is so what you do you just see where it says add vip up comes your contacts and then you just go ahead and click on a person and then their particular contact is now one, considered one of your, your VIPs. And if you want, you can press the edit button and then you could delete the person also. Doesn't really matter. And uh, if you want, if you click on the individual person, it actually shows you their information so you can you know, check out their contact so you make sure everything's good to go. And then this button right here takes you back to where we were originally where we're establishing the settings for that particular um, VIP. Now what we've done, we've gone into settings, mail, contacts, and calendar. And what this is, is these are my individual accounts that I have set up. And if you notice, it says information underneath it. Like here it says my name, and then here it says mail and calendar. The next one just says calendar. The next one says mail and calendar, and so on and so forth. This next one says mail, calendar, contacts, safari, you know, reminders, the whole nine yards. This is something to think about. I think that this causes confusion for some people, and I just wanted to try to um, let you know how I think I work, how I work on this. What I like to do is I like to have my main iCloud account have everything turned on. And what that does is that establishes so that everything is synchronized in my main iCloud account. If, if you have notes turned on for every account that you have or reminders turned on for every account you have, you never know where your notes are going unless you make sure of it. And what I'm trying to say is, you, I think for simplicity purposes, you want to have notes turned off of every account except your main one. And what this will do for you is give you one place for all of your information to go to. That way you're not confused. Oh, did I put that in my Yahoo account? Did I put that in my Gmail account? Did I put that in my iCloud account? No, you know where everything is at. Put it in your main iCloud account so that you know where everything is. And if you don't use iCloud, that's fine. Put it in your main Gmail account. Do whatever you want. Now, this is what it looks like when you go inside the actual app. And this is what I mean by turn things on and turn things off. It's really simple. It's just I want you to understand that this is what I do. Now, the reason I have the calendars turned on is because this particular part of uh, this particular calendar is actually a, a way that I manage my photography. And so I do have this calendar turned on because I really want to make sure that these events, they go inside my calendar for photography. All right. And if I want, I can come down here and I can just sign out of that account. No big deal. These are all basically the same. And we just go ahead and turn them on and turn off. This main iCloud is a little bit different because this is my true main iCloud account. So I can have a whole bunch more settings. And you, I personally suggest that you have everything turned on. It's up to you. Now, if I want to, I can actually add an account. And what I do is I just go ahead and click on add account. And then I type in, I click on iCloud. I type in my username and my password. And then I press next and I'm good to go. Now, if I forgot my username or password, I can go ahead and press that right there. Or if I want to, I can create an account. It's that simple. 
And if you have an exchange, Google, uh, Yahoo, AOL, Outlook uh, account, you just go ahead and click on one of those and then the appropriate account uh, login information will be there. And if you want, you can press other. Other gets a little a little deep and a little in the woods a little bit, but you can go ahead and work your way through this. Some people have these different accounts, and so you might want to use those. Okay, now we're going to move down just a little bit farther. And what this is, is this is a fetch new data. And what this does is um, some accounts push the information to you. Some accounts, you have to fetch it. And what is the difference? Push means the ser as soon as you get an email, the server sends it straight to you. Fetching means that you don't have that service, and what you have to do is you have to wait like a, a period of time, and then you will get that email. And all of these different accounts have these different appropriate settings. So like, as you look, I can say fetch or manual. And if you have it on manual, you'll never get the email until you open up the mail client. So if you're not getting your email, you might check this particular setting. And then you can go through in all of your different accounts and you could set them up the way that you want. And then down here, you have the fetch rules. Like at a minimum, I suggest you have it on an hourly basis, but it depends on how often you want your mail. This is some a way to save your battery. So your batteries, excuse me, so your device is not checking your email every two minutes. It's actually... Um, you can put it on manual so it's just not checking your mail whatsoever and then remember you will not get your mail unless you're inside the mail app and you press refresh okay now this next one this next one right here is um, how many lines of preview do you want and then you get to choose and this basically allows you to read like the first uh, couple lines of the email and then this next one here shows you the 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 two in the cc uh labels and I, I showed you that earlier where you get to choose the cc and i don't know if you saw that earlier but they were hidden and uh then by me dragging them around it actually uh, uh exposed them now this next one is what happens when you swipe what i mean by when i swipe if i go like that i get the, i get archive and if i get if i go like that if I go like that, I get more unflag or trash. And if I keep going, that's where it turns into the all trash. So it's just a different way of doing things. It's a way for you to help control your mail a little bit. Let's click on swipe options. And here you get to control that. And so you get to say swipe left. What am I doing? Okay. And swipe right. What am I doing? All right. So it's just kind of a nice handy uh, tool to do different things. And then you get to do your flag color. What color of flag do you want? What shape do you want? The whole nine yards. And so you get to just kind of choose between those. Okay. And the next one is uh, ask before deleting. I don't know if you saw that, but there for a second, it was just about ready to say uh, trash. Well, this is an example. You can say, no, I want to confirm before I delete. If you're making mistakes, all you have to do is just go ahead and click that button right there. And it'll, it'll help protect you a little bit. This right here is uh, whether or not you want to load remote images. Sometimes you might... Um, not have much data left so you might want to just say hey you know i just need the text i don't need everything else i just want the text and so that's the way you can do that and then you can organize by thread what organizing by thread does is if you and a couple people are going back and forth by email you can make it look like one email so you can just continue to read everything all the way down through or if you uncheck that what you'll end up having is in your inbox you'll have like say instead of three emails because one of them is set in that thread you'll end up having like 15 because you and a, a coworker have gone back and forth several times okay um, this this next box is uh, always BCC yourself in other words if you're trying to make sure that you always have an email for every email that you send so that you can have a, rec a record of what you said well, this is how you do that and then um, here you can increase the quote level and you can have different information about it. If maybe you know, I showed you that earlier and if you don't like it, you can go ahead and turn it back off. And then here, here are your signatures. And these, you get to choose, you know, do you want the same signature for every account or do you want it to change? And if you do want it to change for everyone, you say per account and then you go ahead and put the information in here. And if you notice these, uh, all of these signatures are different. And the main reason being is, I have a lot, lots of different uh, hats that I wear, and so as a result, I might be a photographer, I might be working at the local Apple store, I might be um, working um, here for myself. Uh, you never know what you're doing, and so you have different hats and allows you to wear them. So, so when you're responding to your emails, your emails are appropriately um, responded. Now, this next one is default account. 
this helps you establish where your emails come from as a, as a default okay now what this is is I know we're talking about the mail app but we're also talking about mail contacts and calendars and so what this next thing does is talks about the contacts a little bit and how they're sorted and how they're uh, displayed and you get to choose that all you got to do is click on here like that this is an example um, if you if you want everybody in your family uh, that has the same last name to be to all to be all together then you can, then would put sort by last name if you put sort by first name uh, Amy and Sarah are not going to be together whatsoever even though they both have the last name of Smith but you this is how you change that and then the order display do you want it to be Sarah Smith or do you want it to be Smith Sarah just something to think about and then show in the app switcher this is what it means by that so if you pull down like that then you can have all these up here that's what it means by showing app switcher and then you can turn that on or off and then you get to choose whether or not you want the uh, iPhone favorites and or the recents now, here's where you get to choose the short name I like to just go with first name only I like to I like to think that I know the people in my contacts and so I just have their first name showing when I'm actually sending the emails and stuff like that and then um, you get to choose what do you want you know do you want the first name last name so on and so forth and then and down here uh, you could actually uh, click on if you prefer a nickname like my daughter as an example her name is Victoria but I call her Tori so that's what shows up and then down here this next one this next one right here allows you to choose your contact okay and all you got to do is just find your contact and then once you find it you just once you find your contact you just uh, click on it and if you notice way over here to the far right if you notice way over here on the far right it says me and that right there establishes your particular contact now companies some people like to have their stuff set up on their sim and so what you can do is you can click on uh, import from sim and it brings your contacts in from your sim card okay now this next uh, setting here is for your uh, calendar and what you can do is you can uh, establish what time zone your actual um, information is in and this is important when you travel because your your phone can be in time zone override you can turn it on turn it off and then here you get to choose where what your time zone is here you could have uh, alternative calendars these are some of the examples and here if you want you can have the number of the week showing up in the calendar okay and then here you can um, show when the invitees decline um, your calendar invites and then here you can see where you sync um, back how far all right and then you get to show your default times okay and you get to choose when things happen and uh, the week starts on what day and your default calendar which calendar do you want to use for everything that, that there is include my class on the mail app I hope you learned something and have a good day